Hey everyone, <laughs> the gun grabbers aren't going to like to hear this particular headline. It's been reported by all the established media and I'm sure a lot of them are like, damn, I hate reporting this stuff, but hey, truth is truth, facts are facts, reality is reality. Headline out of Reuters, World News, April 3rd, 2018, London murder rate overtakes New York as knife crime rises. So, <laughs> like I say, gun grabbers, oh, if you just take away their guns, there won't be as many murders or, or victims of violence, right? Well, reality says you're completely fucking wrong. And this is by Alastair Smelt. London police investigated more murders than their New York counterparts did over the last two months, statistics show, as the British capital's mayor vowed to fight a violent scourge on the streets. Yeah, that he helped create. That's the thing. You know, problem, reaction, solution. You know, that's politics. That's government 101. They create the problem, propagate through the media the reaction, and then offer solution. There were 15 murders in London in February against 14 in New York, according to London's Metropolitan Police Service and the New York Police Department. For March, 22 murders were investigated in London with 21 reports in New York. <laughs> and I mean, think about it, in the United States, you know what, like, what is it? What is it, on average, about 300 to 350 million guns, and you can rest assured there's lots of them in New York, but yet, stabbings has created more murders. So that's the thing, like, uh, shocking revelation to you leftists, although not many of you fuckers watch my videos, but I'm hoping the people that do watch my videos share this stuff with those people so they can learn some of this stuff. You know, it's it's one thing for you to, you know, let in the stuff that you already know, but the whole point of me making this video is predominantly is not just to, is not to preach to the choir, it's hopefully you help share this with other people that really need to learn this stuff. It's kind of important, folks. really is. But I mean, if you think about it, it doesn't matter the tool, the instrument, or the method that a person used. It's, you know, if you were killed, I'll just ask you as a person. If somebody kills you, um, you're dead either way, whether it's by a gunshot wound, and, you know, multiple stabbings, which I would think actually the one gunshot wound would actually, if someone asked me, would you rather die by like a single gunshot wound or a whole bunch of stab wounds, I'd be like, eh, fuck, just, just make it quick and painless so the gun would do the job a lot better, right? This is what I mean. It's insane. Or or like cars or or trucks or pipe bombs or pressure cookers or whatever. I mean, tire iron, crowbar. I mean, we are just, you know, basically just big bags of meat and bones <laughs> like we're very very vulnerable to a lot of methods a lot of a lot of ways like throughout history before guns even come to exist you know people were killed in many ways you know <laughs> think about the dark ages there were no guns in the dark ages but yeah death destruction and and killing people yeah that was quite a rampant thing it happened quite easily you know it's not like you need a gun to kill people folks in the latest bloodshed, a 17-year-old girl died on Monday after she was found with gunshot wounds in Tottenham, North London, a day after a man was fatally stabbed in South London. The mayor is deeply concerned by violent crime in the capital. Every life lost to violent crime is a tragedy, a spokeswoman for Mayor Sadiq Khan said in a statement on Tuesday. They're just fucking word, folks. They're just trying to appease you with platitudes and, and, and pretense of benevolence. But like I say, the politicians, the ruling class, they're actually the ones that cause the most pain, death, and destruction, and devastation for the, the populations. And they're not out there to help you. You're basically on your own. So stop looking to fucking governments. Stop looking to these assholes to protect you. Take and assume that task, that role, that responsibility. That's what it means to be a free human being, is fuck the edicts of your central planning overlords. Don't let people that you care about have their lives taken from them needlessly because you're like following some arbitrary edict of your authoritarian leaders. Please, 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 if you care about anything, is reject the politics of the day. If you care about people, then you have to care about them having the capacity and the willingness to defend themselves. Everything else outside of that is just politics. It's just people playing that political divide. So reject, like I say, just reject the bullshit premises. Reject, I, I don't care what kind of language they use. I don't care how, how much 
deception and propaganda they put forth that tells you that, hey, hey you should believe what I got to say, or whether they claim that they got some pretense of authority, or that, oh, look at how smart they are because I got diplomas from some school somewhere, or hey, because the government claims that I'm an authority or an expert on a subject. Fuck all that shit. You're the one that's got to live in this world. And your family and anyone else that you care about, those are the ones that you need to be concerned about. So take it upon yourself to have a measure or a means to defend yourself. And if the state really wants to inflict harm and pain upon you for having the capacity to defend yourself, then you should automatically or instinctively know that that is your true enemy. Because nobody should have any fear or any pretense of authority that just because you have a means to defend yourself that that's a bad thing or that they should have any arbitrary right or authority to take away your capacity to defend yourself. I'll post a link to this article in the description of the video below so you can read the rest of it. There's a little bit left there. But like I say, come on, hey, we're, we're seeing here. It's, it's, not, it's not just about guns, folks. It's guns. It's just a tool. A gun is just a tool, an instrument. You can kill people in many ways and in large scale and in large numbers, as we're seeing reported today, where London now has exceeded New York City. Holy shit. Unbelievable. But it's reality. These are the facts, folks. Like them or not. It's a Canadian Libertarian, and I love liberty.